missed you. You did. Why do you look so handsome? Why do you look so handsome? Oh, babe. Mm. So Kyle increased my fats to 70 grams. That means all the fucking cream cheese. And it's never fucking gets old. I can't tell you how excited I am for breakfast this morning. So fucking good. That was going a lot quicker than I thought. All right, yes, I am back in PG after a crazy weekend in Winnipeg. That was a very quick trip, but boy, was it fucking worth it. I learned quite a bit from Lane. A lot of the stuff is stuff I've already known, but the biggest takeaway I got was just some improvements that I could make to my squat bench and deadlift. So it got me super excited to start training for powerlifting again. So I did my programming on the flight and today is day one of that. So I am very excited to get back on track and get back to being strong. So Winnipeg, was two hours ahead and I left there yesterday. I woke up yesterday at five o'clock, which was three o'clock my time and my body didn't really adjust to the time change. So I was up from basically three o'clock and I didn't go to bed when I got home. I got home at, what time did I get home? I got home at 10 and then I went to work and then came home and I was gonna go to sleep. Well, I didn't end up going to sleep. I don't know why. I kind of got a second wind and I decided to edit some videos instead. So, probably not the smartest thing because I'm feeling fucking beat today. My back is killing me, I think, from the plane and maybe from lifting a little bit heavier than I should have at the camp. But, yeah, so I didn't go to bed maybe till 11 o'clock last night, which isn't super late, but when you've been up since 3, that's a long fucking day. I, I don't even want to do the math. Don't even want to do the math. But anyways, it was worth it. I put together a really cool video for my friend Yvonne. She is actually a makeup artist. She will be based out of Victoria. So yeah, if anybody's in the area, I highly recommend you check her out. She is amazing. Without further ado, I want to quickly share that video with you guys. So let's watch that video in three, two, one. And we're back. I hope you guys liked that. So that's what I did last night instead of sleeping. <laughs> it was actually really fun to make. I really enjoyed making that video. It's definitely a lot different than what I'm used to. And yeah, so make sure you guys check out Yvonne if you live in Victoria or anything like that. I know she will be traveling a lot for work as well. So just check her out. She's fucking amazing. Really fucking amazing. So having said that, that is, I think it's pretty obvious that that is one of our goals now that our shows are over is Kyle and I, we, we do want to get into videography. We don't, we've been struggling for months to come up with a company name and stuff like that. So we're not going to really stress about it right now. And we're just going to kind of have some fun with it instead of stressing about making it into a legit business at this point in time, just because we do have some major projects on the way for the Natty Hour that definitely are a lot more important to us right now. And videography is just going to be something that's kind of on the side, something that's fun. I think people know that we do it. We do get a lot of people who ask us if we can shoot a video for them so if you've ever wondered if we can shoot a video for you guys fuck yeah make sure you guys email me and let me know okay but other than that that's our biggest goal for for the next year or so is to just kind of develop our skills in the area and eventually just kind of make it into a business so that is probably our biggest goal now that 
prep is done. But yeah, my camera is running out of memory. I gotta quickly go pick up a package and then I'll talk to you guys about the rest of my goals when I get back. Things that they told me I should never do. I've been doing things that they told me I could never do now. Never do, I can never do. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams begin to turn out. I'm told to miss my turn out. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all. Never gonna burn out. I've been busy working, you're busy flirting. Guess you get what you deserve now. Whoa. I got some clothes. <laughs> I'll show you guys when we get home. Hello. Are you just waiting there? Come on. All right, I got a couple of shirts from the new Flag Nor Fail launch. Had to get them. Shirt number one. It's a crop top. Flag Nor Fail on it. Ooh, that's fucking cool. The second one here is my favorite. Just a regular muscle tank. It says no handouts on it. Let's see how these bad boys look. Shirt number one, the flag nor fail crop top. Show you guys, it comes up to about right there. Fuck yeah, that one's pretty fucking cool. And for shirt number two, it's a little, a little big, but that's okay. I'll grow into it. I'm still pretty tiny right now. I really liked this shirt just because of the saying on it, no handouts. It's something that I can really relate to ever since like, ever since I was younger, I've always had to work for everything I've had. And that's not just, like that's everything. It goes back to when I was in school, like people would ask in university, like how are you doing so well in this, in this class? I'm not naturally like smart and get things I have to work my fucking ass off for everything I everything I have and I've never gotten a handout and it's something that I can really relate to because I'm very proud of that I never want a handout I want to always work and hustle for everything I have it used to be a lot harder when I was younger but um it's definitely something that I value and I appreciate as I'm older and as I'm becoming the woman that I want to be, essentially. So it's a shirt that, in a saying that I could really relate to, so I had to pick it up. That was the only reasoning. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video by finishing it off by discussing some of my post-show goals. I know I've been telling you guys I'm gonna do this for the last few videos, so here it is, as promised. Thanks for your patience. I think, as I already kind of discussed, my number one goal, and Kyle's as well, so our number one goal is to get more into videography. We want to kind of brush up on our skills, learn as much as we can shoot as much as we can just kind of go from there as well as photography people always ask who edits our photos and our videos and it's always us and that's kind of goes back to the thing with like the no handout it's not that you get a handout by hiring a videographer or a photographer but it's just something that i don't know man like there's something cool about saying no i did that i did this i did that and i know eventually i'm gonna have to let some of those duties go as our business continues to grow but for right now it's something that i really enjoy learning and I love knowing ins and outs of all aspects of my business. That's just me. Maybe it makes me a control freak. I don't know, but I, I really pride myself on building things to help us grow. Like our website, for example, I had so many people ask me who we hired to create our website. Nobody. Kyle and I did that ourselves. So I just take a lot of pride in that. So furthering our skills when it comes to videography and photography are our big goals for this year. Another big goal is just growing the Natty Hour. Kyle and I have a really cool strategy that I can't really discuss with you guys yet but something that's completely different that we want to do with the business and that's not something that we're going to be able to implement until maybe the end of this year maybe even the beginning of 2018 I don't know we're just we want it to be perfect so it's something we've been working on and discussing for a while and we're finally at a place where we can start to build it that's our biggest project right now for the Natty Hour so we're very excited for that so my next goal is to get back into powerlifting. I wasn't sure if I was going to compete in powerlifting again, but after my weekend at the camp that Lane Norton hosted, I feel extremely motivated and ready to get back into powerlifting. I definitely see my potential. I see how strong I can be and how strong I am for how tiny I am. And I think that there's nothing cooler than being strong as fuck, but maybe being a smaller person because I am. I'm naturally a tiny person. So if I can like really get super strong while being 
being this small i think that that i just think that's fucking badass so that's another goal so those are my three biggest goals to finish out 2017 and to just continue to put out more and better content for you guys now that i'm in my off season and i'm gonna start to put on some weight i might have some struggles along the way i really want to show people that it is okay to put on a little bit of fat you don't need to be completely shredded to one be successful in the fitness industry and two to be happy with yourself so i think that's something that i really want to show as well so yeah you guys those are my big goals for the rest of this year and i don't know i'm just super excited to have you guys along for the ride so other than that you guys i'm gonna end the vlog right here thank you guys so much for watching so make sure you like you comment and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching you guys peace